Good morning, uh, John Dunn here again. Uh, just looking at some tundra winter beans. Bit of an experiment here. Um, these beans were sown on the 3rd of December. Uh, direct sown with a Sumo DTS drill into a cover crop, a fairly weak cover crop of Phacelia and um, a bit of vetch in it as well. And uh, I just wanted to try out winter beans. They were sown on the 3rd of December with the plan that the later sowing might benefit them from less disease pressure. Um, and they were sown deep with the aim of keeping away from crows. Now I sowed them with the intention of getting about 70% establishment, but I think I got about 90%. So they're a bit thick and they're a bit bunched in the rows. Crows would normally be a big issue with these this crop, um, sowing in such a, a, a hungry time of the year. But for some reason the crows didn't turn up. So when you expect them to turn up, they don't turn up. Um, so the crop was sown on the 3rd of December, around the 4th of January, it got Nirvana and a little bit of Roundup just to take out the remaining cover crop. They've established really well. Uh, as you can see, the row width is wider than, than a conventional drill. They're a bit thick, I'm probably in the mid 30s in terms of plant population, whereas I wanted the high 20s, but hopefully they won't lodge. Um, but they're clean, uh, no spray besides the Nirvana and the glyphosate yet. Um, and they've established really well, really lovely roots on them. Um, just trying to open one up there now and we might have a closer look. And there's a lot of nodulation occurring. Really nice nodulation there. So they're fixing nitrogen. I've um, gone into stem extension. A little bit of branching too, as you can see. Um, so I suppose just as a kind of an alternative to spring beans, I thought these might get away from the how we are exposed in the event of a late spring, that the spring beans would be planted late. Um, the harvest date may not be um, especially all that earlier than a spring bean, but at the same time, they should be earlier than a spring bean sown in April, uh, which can happen some years. So you can see there's, there's great rooting on them. Um, the soil will be in lovely structure. There's wheat will be planted after these, um, all going well. Um, down in this part of the world here in Cork, we're usually on a, a tree spray fungicide program anyway. Um, even with spring beans. So I would envisage doing the same with the winter bean. So I'd hope the cost base shouldn't be all that higher than growing spring beans here. Um, no weevil um, insecticide required because the, the winter conditions were so harsh, the, the bean weevil just wasn't active. I can see a few beetles on the leaves here, but I, the crop has gone beyond them. Um, as you can see, nodulation is well underway. And um, that's, that's the, the larvae of the bean weevil can, can upset nodulation. So I think we're out of, out of the woods in that regard. Um, no real weed, weed issues here either. The Nirvana with the little bit of Roundup did a, did a smashing job. Um, so they're enjoying the summer sun, or the spring sun I should say. Um, clean, healthy looking. So the variety is Tundra. It's bred by Limer Grain in the UK. And uh, it looks, looks really nice here. So um, I'll be interested now to see what happens. Based on some um, trial information I've seen, sowing bean, winter beans too early can really inhibit their yield. Uh, they can just develop too much foliar disease. So if you sow these, we'd say the 1st of November, uh, you have a lot more foliage over winter and into the spring, which starts building up chocolate spot infection, etc. So these didn't emerge until until the new year, really, into, into early January. So they're exposed to less disease. So um, that's the situation. I'll give you another update there during the year. Okay, thanks.